Hello friends! SIM swapping is a type of identity theft where someone takes control of your mobile phone number by tricking your mobile service provider into transferring your number to a SIM card they control. Unlike malware attacks or device hacks, the attacker doesn't need to physically touch your phone. Instead, they exploit weaknesses in mobile carrier procedures. Before a SIM swap occurs, attackers carefully prepare by gathering personal information about the victim from multiple sources. They often use phishing techniques, sending fake emails or messages designed to trick people into revealing sensitive details, such as birth dates, addresses, or account numbers. In many cases, attackers rely on data breaches where leaked passwords, email addresses, and phone numbers from previous incidents are reused to build a victim profile. Social media also plays a major role as attackers scrape publicly shared information like pet names, birthdays, family details, or travel plans. In less common situations, they may use physical methods such as dumpster diving or searching public records to obtain additional details. When enough information is collected, the attacker can convincingly impersonate the victim while contacting the mobile carrier, increasing the chances of a successful SIM swap. Once attackers have collected enough information about the victim, they move on to executing the SIM swap. They contact the mobile carrier's customer service and typically claim that the SIM card was lost, stolen, or damaged. Using the personal details they gathered earlier, they successfully answer verification questions and convince the support representative that they are the legitimate account holder. As a result, the carrier issues a new SIM card or activates the attacker's SIM with the victim's phone number. At this stage, the victim's phone suddenly loses network service, while all incoming calls and SMS messages, including security and verification codes, are redirected to the attacker. Once an attacker gains control of a victim's phone number, the consequences can be severe. By intercepting password reset codes, they can access email accounts and use them as a gateway to other services. They can also break into social media accounts that rely on SMS-based two-factor authentication, taking over profiles or locking the real owner out. In more serious cases, attackers can withdraw money or transfer funds from bank accounts, as well as steal cryptocurrency by bypassing mobile verification codes. To protect yourself from SIM swapping, it is important to reduce reliance on SMS-based security and strengthen account protections. Using app-based two-factor authentication instead of text message codes adds an extra layer of safety. Setting a carrier-level PIN or password helps prevent unauthorized changes to your mobile account. Limiting the amount of personal information you share online also makes it harder for attackers to gather details about you. In addition, regularly monitoring your accounts for unusual activity can help detect problems early, and if your phone suddenly loses service without explanation, contacting your mobile carrier immediately can stop further damage. Friends, I hope this video helped you understand SIM swap attacks and what you can do to protect yourself. For now, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.